So the object of today is just to show you how easy it is for you to set up your scheduling through Calendly and use this as a way of being able to um, allow your students to be able to schedule or book times with you. And perfect for an independent teacher or even if you've got a small um, group of teachers joined together, it's still a very easy flow to, to set up. So you just sign up like this. We're just on Calendly here. I'll just put in my name. And it just asks us to verify that, so I'll just quickly do that. So once you've set up your account, you can change your Calendly link to maybe even your company name if you'd like. Um, you can choose the time zone, and that's about it. Now this just connects with your Google, Google Calendar if you'd like. You just click on this, uh, sign in with your Calendly account, uh, so, sorry, with your Google um, account and you'll be able to set that up pretty easily. Uh, if you don't need to do that, you can just skip that. Um, and then this just allows you to be able to create some um, really easy meetings. So for example, if you typically do 30 minute sessions, you could change this to the event name. So this is what you'd call it. So I'll call it a 30 minute tutoring session. Now this is the point here where you can um, add the location, can be um, C virtual classroom link in email, or that could be calendar. See you soon. Now if I just save that, let's change the color, I'll save that. And I can then choose when people are able to book me. Now here it's suggested, nine to five, that suits me fine. So I'll just save and close that. And that's about all you need. So when I go back to the event types, you'll see here, it says copy link. And it's basically gonna be this link. But if I copy that link and open up, let's say in a different browser. So once you've shared the link with your students, they will be able to see something like this. They'll open up your link they'll be able to choose a day, confirm that time, and it's just that easy. They'll put in their full name and their email address. They'll schedule the event and they can add it to their calendar. It's really that easy. Now what you're gonna see on your side is this. And this is what you'll see on your side. You'll just see that Alex has booked a time with you uh, for a 30 minute tutoring session and you're going to need to send them the email or calendar. Now the way to do that is then just go straight to LearnCube and I'll show you what happens next. So once the student has booked the class then it's just up to you to provide the right link and you can do that here you just go onto your dashboard click on direct link you can copy that to your dashboard and then send that through in a little email. Alternatively you can just click add to calendar you'll be able to add the guest here and that will send the email with the new link. Uh, it becomes a really easy way of you being able to get the, the right student into the right classroom. Great, so you can see just by using the LearnCube virtual classroom and Calendly, you can really quickly get up and start teaching online. It's really easy, it's still very professional and it provides a great experience for you and your students. So all the best and talk more soon.